we're at the ghost town of Holy City up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And guess what? We were at the Holy City Art Glass Shop. It's the studio of master artist, the stained glass man of the whole area, Tom Stanton. Hi, Tom. Hi, Marilyn. We're here to hear about some of your stained glass. And just to tell people a little bit about you, tell me about some of the people you've done stained glass for. For instance, Carrie Nation's uh, window in Los Gatos. We, uh, Carrie Nation Campbell. Um, car excuse me, Carrie Nation's in Los Gatos. Khartoum and Campbell. And, uh, well, you know, uh, I just finished actually restoring St. Luke's Church in Old Town, which is right across from Carrie Nation's uh, this summer. And it was quite an undertaking because we had to do... Um, large amounts of uh, restoration of the painting of the figure work of Jesus with the children. It was really an unusual uh, undertaking. But we did it. It went well. And uh, we are going to finish this uh, landscape window here right now. It's going in a private residence in Saratoga. That's mostly what I do, a private residence is. Um, stained glass for uh, architectural pur purposes has kind of slowed down the last few years. But or residential ones. It's, um, I know that you've had several celebrities who have heard about you and had, uh, I think, yeah, Linda well, Ronstadt. You know what? I'm on um, whatever those things they make you sign, though. Oh, you you can't public. tell who. I okay. Can't, I can't publicly go on TV and say that. But I have done work for uh, a handful of major celebrities over the times. Uh, but they may do write those non-disclosure yes. releases. Well, I happened to read about it in a mag magazine article, one of those glossy ones that was featuring you. It gets by, yeah, it gets by the, me and the interviewer, and uh -huh. I always cross my fingers and hold my breath. I'm not going to get in trouble, but so far I'm okay. Well, we, we've uh, been to your studio. So far I have big-time Hollywood producer hasn't showed up with his lawyers. Uh-oh. <laughs> Well, you also, in your, your little extra time, you doing glass blowing, and I know you have seasonal work, and mm -hmm. I was up here at Valentine's, you had all these beautiful hearts and jewelry boxes, and I see now you're doing pumpkins, mm -hmm. gorgeous pumpkins, yeah, but awesome. let's uh, talk about these stained glass. This one is on consignment, you always work on... No, 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 oh. on commission. Com consignment oh. is where you do uh, right. a piece and you just put it in there and you wait for somebody to come in and maybe they're going to buy it. This is a highly commissioned piece. It's a $25,000 window and it's for a doctor in Saratoga and she has been patiently waiting an entire year for me to finish this. Now, who designed it? Did, did. You, you designed it according to something she might like? No, no. I gave her several little pencil sketches. She picked one out and I elaborated it into a, a color drawing, and then we uh, drew it up big. Mm -hmm. So what you do first, you, you, you draw the picture for the client, mm -hmm. and then you make a great big pattern mm -hmm. on a piece of paper like that, draw it out, and then start cutting the glass? And yep. Select the glass, cut the glass, wrap some kind of metal around the glass, whatever you choose, solder the glass, and uh, waterproof the glass. Now this uh, has copper right. ceiling or whatever you would call it. You have edging. edging. This is the modern one, and you have one in the it's other the room that way. has. Uh, I'm looking at my work while we talk. You have one in the other room that has uh, yeah. metal. No, leading. Leading. Yeah, yeah. it's all metal. This mm -hmm. is copper metal. That's lead metal. That's and the old that's way of doing it. This is the new way of doing the it. The ancient way is the lead, huh? Well, you know, I used that word earlier. I was probably too um, esoteric yeah, when sure. I used okay. that. Okay. This is the old way of, of doing okay. it. Okay, archaic. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, so then uh, you, uh, I see some little different spots on this. So does that mean anything? Or are you doing any extra little designs to that? Or Well, I have some uh, many pieces in the other room that go behind all of these uh, dark, uh, more opalescent clouds many layers so that it looks like a real sunset, a real California sunset. And uh, so, you know, my, my work is different than other stained glass artists. My work will involve t techniques that nobody else will do. 
So that's why this particular window is so different and so expensive is because, I mean, there's sandblasting in here, there's painting in here, there's layering in here, it's just... Yes, I see right here. Is that where the sandblasting would have been? No. It's kind of bubbled no. up or... No. right there. I see. So you're doing and... Right here. Uh-huh. Okay. And then the, the iridescent thing, does the glass come that way, or do yeah. you... Uh -huh. It certainly okay. does, yeah. So you, you, know your, you know all the materials, and you know when you start designing something, you know pretty much the kind of materials you will be using in order to make your design. I do. I do, yeah. What is your next project when you finish? With, because I know you've worked on this for sure. months. Oh, this is my next project, the wolf window. I'm just wondering how in the world you do a wolf out you of the glass. It. You paint the wolf in, and that's how that'll be done. It'll look great. It's beautiful. My granddaughter would love that. Yeah. Well, my associate, uh, Joanna Dover, will actually do this. She also did that mermaid up there. Mm -hmm. She's very, very good at painting. So. Mm -hmm. And who designed did, Is this commissioned also? Yeah. Everything is commissioned. There is no consignment work. Yeah. We would not be in business if we didn't have money coming in on every single window all the time. It's very, very competitive and difficult to stay in the stained glass business. How long typically would it, did it take to do this? But you don't work on only this. It took a long time. Mm -hmm. It took a year. Yeah. Um, when I was here uh, on Valentine's Day, you showed me something that you've created for yourself alone, and it's of the Beatles. And uh, I know you have it in a very safe place. Do you want to show it safe. to me or not? It's too safe, because it's not supposed to be resurrected until this window's done. And in order to do it, we got to really... I can see I'm only up to Ringo. Ringo's still buried. I don't know what to do. This is your baby. This yeah. is your own personal mm -hmm. pleasure. So you are a Beatles fan. Mm -hmm, I am. Uh -huh. and and tell look, us I haven't looked at this for so long, uh, Marilyn. I'm finding all the mistakes. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's all right. So we have all the guys. When did you start this? Oh, a long time ago, like five or six years ago. Mm -hmm. And did you have a photo that you worked off of? Well, this is the in-flap, the Sgt. Pepper album cover. This is the most famous photographic history photo in the history of music. Mm -hmm. and then you don't recognize this inside flap to Sgt. Pepper's? It, yeah. but I, I, you f did freehand, right? You, you yeah. sketch it freehand mm -hmm. and then put all this in. Mm -hmm. My goodness, and look at that, how beautiful that yeah. is. That would have, and all the special treatment yeah, that you've yeah, done. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh, that's amazing. And then the thing is how, how you've colored the faces, how, how, how did you do that? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> Get somebody else in here to answer that. How did I do that? Because it's all shaded, you know. I know. I know. Just good, huh? Oh, no. The shading <laughs> actually is, is you're looking at the pencil shading underneath oh, it. Oh, yeah. so the you did that on the, the paper. The glass oh. itself is all one color. I see. Okay. See? Uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, picking that up. Oh, my we'll goodness. We hope, never get that back together. We hope we didn't destroy this. Because no, no. this is your favorite thing. And thank you very much for bringing yeah. that out for us. Because I know you don't bring it out for anyone no, else. I don't. And I can't get that piece back in there. But I won't worry about well, it. Well, you know what? Going. We're going to leave and let you put it all back together. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, so yeah. you've got um, the harvest and the Halloween coming up. You'll be making some more things for that. And then, and then I guess a lot of things for Christmas. You'll be blowing glass for mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. Are you open every day or just weekends? Oh, you know, I, I never know when it would be open now. I used to have standard hours. Now I don't anymore. There's just so much to be done. There's so many errands to be run. And there's just so much to be done that I'm just always, I come in in the morning, I make my phone calls, then I go off or run an errand, then I come back, I work a little bit, go to lunch. So if people want to come up and buy a darling 
um, pumpkin mm -hmm. for Halloween or harvest, they, Thanksgiving. No, they have to call you and make an appointment? All these pumpkins will be at the Los Gettys Pumpkin Patch, October 6th and 7th. So how did it happen? Next room and look at all the ones how did it happen that I got up here on Valentine's Day, and you had Shula. customers in here Shula. just happened to walk in, and you Shula. were here? Oh, I see. Tom, thank you so much for letting us come, and uh, we've enjoyed it very much. And uh, you have to help me put this back. Oh, I do. Okay.